when you're talking about left wing, like, you know, people go to journalism school, they come out, they know they're supposed to be looking for objective truths. They know what the job is supposed to be, right? The definition of what a journalist is. And then they go to work for liberal media and they become puppets. Well, first of all, remember, most journalists are liberal. I think there's a stat out there, Tyler. I don't know. It's like very high number, the number of journalists that actually are Democrats or liberal versus conservative. It, the percentage is astounding, right? So by nature, now why is that? Because they go through academia, they come out, they go through those politics courses and those journalism courses taught by people who espouse liberal ideology. So they already come out of the gate liberal, by and large. Let me know if you have that. You can interrupt me if you get it. Um, so they come out liberal, right? From school, they start that way. And then I have to be honest with you, the second part of this question is not, I know you said CNN and MSNBC because I know that leads me to believe that you're conservative. So I'm going to just burst this bubble a little bit and just tell you it's not just liberal media, it's media, okay? Every single one of these institutions that you go to, in many cases you're expected to be a puppet. Now that doesn't mean you can't share your opinion, that doesn't mean you can't voice your opinion, but it does mean that you can step out of bounds and it's not cool. In other words, your opinion is great if it falls within these borders. Here, you work for CNN, MSNBC, I'm gonna put Fox on there, I'm gonna put anywhere, anywhere, Newsmax, I don't care. I haven't worked at Newsmax, so it's hard for me to say, but wait. Here, your opinion? Yeah, but what if mine's over here? Mm -mm, that's touching a topic we're not gonna, nope, can't go over there. Okay, so what if I fall over here? Nope. Stay in the zone, okay? So it gives the mirage of diversity of thought. It gives the mirage of different people debating different topics and feeling differently. Why? Because this is the zone and maybe I fall here and you fall here and somebody else falls here. So within the zone, we differ. But no one's saying this. Mm -mm. Advertisers can't have that. And no one's touching this topic. Nope, 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 Big Pharma can't have that. So you see what I'm saying? There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't realize. And the reason people become puppets is I'll tell you, they want to keep their jobs. They want to earn a living. They make big fat paychecks sometimes and get book deals and all sorts of things. And it's worth it to them, right? In the same way that a lot of people got the vaccine while they were screaming from the rooftops about freedom, they went and decided I work for a big television network and have a big microphone and I can't work in New York without a vaccine, so here you go. And then I'll scream about freedom on TV, but I really just do as I'm told, okay? And that's the honest to God truth. There's too much of that in media because people who are drawn to media in large part wanna be famous. They wanna be famous, they wanna be on screen above all else, okay? You know how many times I told you that I would sit on a set and somebody would be like, Donald Trump, blah, 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 and he's gonna win, and he really, that blah, 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 and then cameras go off, and this is what you see. That's such horror, I mean, that fucking guy's not gonna win. And I would be like, that's not me. Y'all know it, got fired. <laughs> just saying, that's not me. So just know, and don't see though, I appreciate the question, but don't only see it through that lens. It's not just the media avenues you don't like sometimes, it's also some of the ones you do like. It's a problem in media at large who's been, they've been bought and sold in many respects and it's sad, which is why the podcasting world is booming because we just talk. We're just like, whatever. Okay. Uh, 2013 Washington Post, 7.1% of journalists uh, reported as Republican. 7.1%. 20, and this is a survey they run every 10 years. So in 2002, it was 18%. 28% identified as Democrat. 50.2% identified as independent, which is up from 32% in 2002. So I imagine they'll run this study again soon. It's every 10 years. Independent usually means Democrat. Leans right. Democrat. Leans left. Right. Leans left. Um, the only people that will call themselves independent that lean right are people who sometimes... No, actually, no, not in modern world. I was going to say sometimes conservatives who don't want that label Republican because they feel like the Republican Party betrayed them, like they're not conservative enough. But those people won't say independent. They'll say conservative. Independent is usually someone who leans left but doesn't ascribe to the crazy on the Democrat side. Like they're not going to, they don't want to be looped in with AOC, but they also are, you know, Democrats. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.